success Duchess works for a fourth public relations company the wife of Ari displays her victim card and asserts that Meg lacks we are likely to be startled to learn Meghan declined to heed WME's advice to just listen to them. According to a source, despite talent sounding like the verbatim theme tune from Law and Order, the entertainment agency WME attracted Meghan Markle. She seems to be absent from the available celebrity bookings these days because of her deceptive maneuvers, which included using Ari's wife to go to Lisa and getting picked up because she is black. This put her on thin ice, and the final straw was her use of plausible deniability tricks to release her illogical PR puff stories while sobbing. It wasn't really me, or was it her request that an investigation into the Emmy nomination process be conducted to ascertain who would have prevented them from receiving their only chance at an Emmy? Or was it her demand that Emmy allow her to buy an Emmy nomination for the artificially inflated or rated mockumentary? I mean, in her eyes, her worthless father received many Emmy nominations and won two of them. How challenging may receiving at least a nomination be? She genuinely thinks she's an Oscar-caliber actor. I'm sorry, actor. The possibility that her father may truly be an award-winning, skilled lighting director who is popular and genuinely kind guy could not even be allowed to cross her delusional head. Megan's perception of her father was tainted by Doria. Megan made the mistake of choosing to copy her nasty, deceitful mother, and now she must pay the price while Gloria walks away from her daughter's 2019 wedding with a $9 million windfall. I believe Doria is an evil grifter truly truly evil will she ever be charged with murder of her own father confiscation of all his property a state of which she shared nothing with her only brother isn't it odd that the wind is the dropout drug ego from failed job to failed John to felon then from bankrupt lottery fraud to multi-million dollar business owner in just two short years filled with intrigue shady connections hidden cameras with W and me. She signed on towards the end of April they Gave it the usual three-month probationary period and here we are in August with oodles of ridiculous puff pieces she was very quiet in the weeks before signing. And there were a few hints that attacks on the royal family would stop directly afterwards. But since the end of July beginning of August she's reverted to type recently WME are no longer in the picture we've heard regurgitated stories about a feud and the Beckhams. And an endorsement of political aspirations from Biden's sister there are. Stories that are on life support now last week. We heard about the United Against Cyber Bullying Telephones call to youngsters there's absolutely no connection between the duplicitous will she make a surprise appearance at the polo in Singapore. Will she wear the femme fatale attire again or a new gold dress? They appear to be co-workers. The old playbook is in attention with WME or out another source said that WME has still taken over our too old production likely to fulfill the remainder of the Netflix contract. As Netflix is still sitting on half of the contract money. Some sort of deal has been made to save face with the Sussexes of while WME works with Netflix to come up with some kind of content. And this may be the entire deal because WME haven't been able to help her with deals. 